Hi everyone, it's Peg, and it is time for Tag It Tuesday. That is a challenge issued from a Facebook group by the name of Tag It Tuesday, and you'll find the links below to the group if you're interested in joining. And, um, you know, there are other links down there in the description box too. So if you're on a laptop or a device where you can see that information, please check it out. Um, also, while you're there, click the little bell because that's the only way you get notification about any other videos that I might be posting. Um, I'm going to be traveling some this month and so I'll be in and out and uh, I may not be on a regular schedule so I just want you to know when videos go up so that you don't miss any. So today I am all about play and exploration and um, the theme this month is sprays. So I'm just going to start off. This is a Prima tag that I just had in my stash, and it's time to use them up. So I'm taking some uh, deli printed paper that I had with all kinds of color on it, and I'm just applying that with some uh, decoupage, which is a deco art um, medium, matte medium from uh, Americana line. And then I'm going to add some other uh, sprays with stencils and just have fun with this. Um, you know, I don't don't really have a direction that I'm going with any of it. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to put down some uh, deco art. This is the Fluid Media Acrylic, um, Andy Skinner's line of paints that are really nice fluid paints um, from DecoArt also. And it doesn't take very much. Um, I just want to apply color in a few areas for the background and, you know, blend a few things together a little bit that way. So, and now I'm using a little piece of leftover um, Punchinella to apply some of that paint through the Punchinella. Okay, so we're finally moving on to the stencils. These are wonderful stencils from Stencil Girl Products. Um, I will be visiting with them later in the year uh, when Seth After comes down to teach some classes. And what you're seeing now is a stencil from Diane Reevely, the triangular one. I am going to see Diane today because she is going to be teaching in Milwaukee at a store. And a friend and I are going to go take her class and that should be a fun time. Um, I'm going to meet a few friends there and it'll be good. Now this stencil is a Seth After stencil and what I'm doing is masking. Um, I'm using some paper toweling just to protect uh, the overspray. I don't, I don't want overspray going everywhere. That black can get out of hand in a hurry and uh, I just wanted to protect the rest of my tag by using that paper toweling. So I'm thinking about how dark it is now and I'm adding some white areas. Um, I wanted to create a space more like a focal point so I put that in the middle and a few drips and splatters and you know bring in the, bring in the surface up um, all that other stuff can stay in the background, but I want to put a focal point on there. And so I have this other stencil from Seth After, and I like the word explore. I think that's kind of what I'm doing here today, so I want to use that. And then um, I'm coming back and stenciling over the top of those flower-shaped uh yeah, flower shapes <laughs> with some archival ink in red and putting a few red dots on there. And I'll look around and find a red pen. Um, I want to add a little bit of highlight or shadow to the lettering on there in a red color. And, you know, just do a little pen work, a little white pen work, a little red pen work, a little black pen work and call that good. Um, 
there isn't too much more to this. I'm going to add some um, ribbon to the hole at the top, put a date and my name on it, and call that done. So um, I hope you join us. I hope uh, you guys all enjoy playing with this for this month, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.